Hi, my name is Riley Bodenstab, and you're watching Wildfire TV. I want to feel the motherfucking music! I'm Jackie Hollywood with Wildfire TV, and I'm joined today by Riley Bodenstab, best known for his roles on Days of Our Lives and Justified. Thank you so much for having me here today. No problem. Thanks for coming over. Days of Our Lives is something I've been personally watching for about a decade. I'm not going to lie. Um, I, I literally DVR it. I see every episode. So how does it feel to be on a show that's been around for half a century now? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's like stepping inside a time capsule kind of you know I mean it's funny because being involved in that show it's such a machine like they know every little second like or you know how to move each camera and uh, each flat and scene and set up and this and that just like down to a T and it's just like they know exactly what the timing is gonna be how everything's mm. gonna go and they pump it out like that's their job I just got out of rehab while I was there I had a lot of thinking to do and uh, when I thought about what I did to you, putting those drugs in your purse, it, it wasn't easy to face that clean and sober. Just, it's like theater in a way. Like you gotta be, it's like, it's not live, but you don't get a lot of takes. You don't get a lot of this and that. And you gotta be ready to go and you gotta be on point because you don't wanna slow that machine down. And understandably, like you, you want things to move the way they need to move so that they can be efficient with their time. And you also have to be good. Like it's your job to bring the goods in that that mm -hmm. time and space. Your character on Days and on Justified, you're kind of like this badass and you're involved with drugs in both, um, which I think is kind of funny because you seem like such an upstanding guy in real life. I'm a completely <laughs> upstanding guy. So um, why do you think you were cast for these types of like bad boy roles and have you have you always been cast that sort of way? Um, yes and no. I think it's that I can play dark characters, go to those dark places and you know, I think a lot of people have vices in life, and everyone has a vice of some sort. What's your name? Derek Waters. Let me tell you something, Derek. You sell weed to a cop's kid, you end up in a cell. You want to end up in a cell too, or you want to get out of my face? You know, Loretta said you were cool. It's your total dick. Oh, all right. Well, have a good one. Yeah, whatever. I, can, I think I can go to those places. I can create that dynamic. I really have no fear of showing those vulnerabilities in myself. And um, I think maybe even just my voice too. <laughs> to it. The bad boy hair, yeah, the you got hair, it all. all yeah. that. So that's, I mean, but when it's all said and done, I think those, those are kind of the biggest elements. So tell me about something funny that's happened to you on set. Um, either days are justified. I'm sure behind the scenes is a hoot. As as we know, during this shoot, there has been a lot of funny things happening behind Already, the scenes. Already, yeah. Um, um, working with uh, Sam Elliott was really really awesome experience i've been a huge fan of his work for a long time and so it was pretty funny because he i just kind of like walked out of my trailer and you know i would say we're far from equals in the situation <laughs> where i'm at in my career the funniest element was i went up to him and i was like you know because i have worked around enough people to get to the point where it's not like it's like i was super awkward i just went up to him and I was <laughs> like, like oh my god i was like sam i gotta tell you i'm like or actually i was like mr elliot I gotta tell you. you said mr elliot yeah. that's awesome. <laughs> i can't remember what exactly something along those lines <laughs> mr sam elliot um i was just like i i gotta tell you like i don't do this very often but i'm being a complete fanboy right now and i'm so giddy like, <laughs> like yeah and he was just the nicest guy he was like he was like oh thanks you know what i mean he started talking and, you know sam elliot <laughs> Has anyone geeked out over you like when you walk down the street? Have you had that experience yet of somebody like calling you by your like character name and not your real name? Because I think that's really funny. Yeah, one time in that way, uh, I was my friend's. I he had this birthday party, and he was like, "Oh, well, I was gonna miss part of it because I I can't remember I had something going on for work," and so I show up late, and he's with one of one of his friends, still there, and I, I sit down, and his friend, this girl, was like. Cole? And I'm like, oh my god. She's like, you're Cole. Cole from Days of Our Lives turns her You didn't tell me you were bringing Cole from Days of Our Lives? And I'm like, so good. and this is like really early on too. The funniest thing is like this, I mean, now I've got like a bigger storyline going on too. So I was like, 
<laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I'm really, really excited to eat dinner. My stomach is rumbling. So let's get to cooking. Thanks for coming. Yeah, let's go. So you guys know I love when a man cooks for me. So this is perfect. We got Riley on the grill over here. <laughs> and uh, lots of vegetables. I'm the vegetarian here, so he's making lots of veggie options for me. And then he's also going to make some seafood for my beautiful crew. So the first thing we do when we start barbecuing is we drink. I like that plan. So, Are you more of a red or a white guy? I'm a red guy. I decided to pick something that kind of has something to do with like me growing up and whatnot, and so mm -hmm. it's kind of a little bit more like slice of life from my home, you know what I mean? That's because so, there's a story with Yeah, there's kind there. of a story with everything. That was because I was like, you know what, I'm going to get into this. I'm going to have some fun with it. So, so what's the story Chateau St. Michel, with what we're starting off, is where I saw my first concert. And what was that? Well, I was a big Top Gun fan. My mm -hmm. uncle was a Top Gun Navy fighter pilot, so I loved the movie. and. Thus, I was a huge Kenny Loggins fan too. Cool. So it was Kenny Loggins. <laughs> That's awesome. So we saw the concert at Chateau Saint Michel. My mom took me. All right, so I've got a surprise for you. Ooh, I'm excited. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty amazing. More surprise than this? What yeah. can it be? It's an Australian with a salad. Um, I'm really excited right now. Bring him on. This is my buddy Michael, Hi. The sous chef. Today, he's actually say. an incredible chef, and I brought him over because he was kind of helping give me some ideas because he's a vegetarian. You're a vegetarian, oh, so we're kind of like. Brainstorming yeah. here together and look at this incredible salad. Yes, I came so, all the way from Australia with this. Oh, so we got so pretty. One thing we got in here though that we're gonna we're actually gonna make something really unique that I've never tried before with the mushrooms, but we've also got them in here is the blackberries. So remember I told you about like store like there's kind of a story with everything. Growing up in Washington State, there was a ton of blackberry bushes all the time. So we I was always as a kid like eating tons of blackberries. So when I saw them in the store, I was like, oh, this is perfect. Yes. This is a California barbecue sauce. A lot of barbecue mm -hmm. sauces are kind of like from the south and whatnot. I met these guys not too long ago and I tried it. I was like, this is insane. And what I love the barbecue. Like I love barbecue. Yeah, it's called Iron Bowl and it's a, they have a wine one too. We're gonna use this a little bit later for our oysters. It's gonna be our Washington, California mix. And then they've also got a, uh, a beer barbecue one. They've also got some other wait, ones they're working beer on. Beer so. and barbecue. I know, exactly. Yeah. So it's a craft brew beer barbecue <laughs> sauce. It's California. Kind of, it's got a California barbecue taste rather than like a southern barbecue taste. So I really like it. I thought it was appropriate for tonight. I just love the flavor. So we're going to throw this in with some onions and some tomatoes. And we're going to make this kind of a real, you got to have, I mean, you can't have a barbecue night without barbecue sauce. Right, right so. that wouldn't make sense. So we're going we're gonna to do some mushrooms with those blackberries we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Oh, where'd these guys come from? Yeah, I got some of my crew um, enjoying the salad and the wine. <laughs> we might have had a little wine, um, a little beer. Yeah, so are you enjoying the food? It's delicious, huh? You know how to cook. Thank you. All right. You know how to cook. I've only had even a salad so far, yet. and actually the Australian made it. That, so yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. You're, you're, you, you can smell it. You got to come. We got to go on. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, so we're shucking oysters. It's something I've never done or seen happen in front of me. Yeah, well, I don't really have the right <laughs> utensils, so this is gonna take a little while, but there we go. So what's the trick to do? You just I gotta jam you come something. In, you come in from the back, mm -hmm. and then you gotta get in under this thing, and you gotta just leverage it. it. Normally you look like you've done this before. Yeah, and you just kinda get in there, twist it. Okay, okay. so you shucked the oysters. We're fully shucked. Um, I'm so glad oh, to have my friend ah, Claire sorry. here because she's going to eat my oyster I'm for me. I'm so excited. Alright, let's shoot it. Cheers. Here we go. I'm just gonna pretend. Oh, so good. Mm. <laughs> okay, so the food is finally coming off the grill. It Getting smells amazing. It looks amazing. Um, so while you're plating this for me, um, what are your projects coming up? I know you got some really fun stuff. You just shot a pilot, so tell me about that. Yeah, I just shot uh, Life in Pieces with uh, James Brolin and Colin Hanks. Don't worry, I'll take good care of Tyler. Made you a sandwich? Oh, so you are have you a... kidding? No, it's for you. Just stick it in your pocket. I so don't you have want it. Later. I don't care if you eat it. I just want oh, cranberries in it, and I want you to have it in case you need a snack. I wish your mom would shove her sandwich in my pants. <laughs> it was a really, really fun experience. Uh, I was really excited to dive back into comedy. The other thing is uh, my production company, Credence Entertainment. We are trying to get things kicked off with that, and we had a short that went to con a couple of years ago, and we've got some projects in development. And we're kind of we teamed up with another company as well, and we kind of got this thing growing, and you know, we got some web series and some features and some kind of pilots and stuff. So that's really cool. Yeah, that, that's what I've been working on a lot lately, other than my acting. Thank but, you for um, joining me today and obviously for cooking for me and my wonderful crew. I really appreciate it. Well, thank and, you um, so much for having me. Let's I'm about in, to just right? like 
yeah, once I start eating, like I'm not talking anymore. So. All right, well we got we gotta let you try some. Oh. Of this. All right, so what are we gonna try first? Yeah. I'm, I mean, I already tried some of this, so I'm gonna try more. What do you think? Do you like it? Um, I hope so. so.